Will the dream reign supreme? Or will the Ruguru prove to be Devin Haney's worst nightmare? Of course, talking about Regis Progre defending his WBC light welterweight title against Devin Haney this Saturday. And now, it seems like only a few weeks ago this fight was being announced. We had a date, we had a, a venue, and I remember thinking at time, man, this fight's going to take ages to come around. It's like 9th of December, and here we are, you know, the fight's a couple of days away. So let's talk about it. Um, both fighters I'm quite familiar with, kind of follow their careers for many years, and I feel like my impression of them has gone in opposite directions. I first came over, uh, came across Regis Progre in 2017, around the time Terence Crawford had just unified the division, and I was very impressed. You know, there was a new breed of 140 pounders coming through, and I was I was impressed. I was convinced by Regis Progre, even on paper. If you looked at a breakdown of him, southpaw, um, good head movement. Uh, he's got good skills. He can punch with both hands. Has that kind of effortless power. He can counter punch. He can lead. He can fight okay at long. He can fight okay at close. And it just seemed like this guy was going to be a tough customer for a lot of people. But then you know, a year or so later. Uh, started to pay a bit more attention to Devin Haney, really, when he started fighting on zone, And I was never really that impressed by him. A lot of people were kind of really high on Devin Haney. Oh, this young guy, he looks like he's going to be the next Mayweather. And they'd ask me what I thought. And I was like, you know what? I just, I'm not convinced by him. He looks a bit green. He looks a bit ragged when he fights. There's um, maybe a lack of experience there. And yeah, overall, I just wasn't really impressed by Haney. But Regis Progre, I thought, you know what, this guy's a real deal. And he very slowly but surely became one of my favorite fighters to watch just from a stylistic perspective. Um, however, as I say, those kind of impressions have gone in different trajectories. I I personally think that Regis Progre peaked in the Josh Taylor fight. I think that's the best Regis Progre I've ever seen. Um, I thought he was going to beat Josh Taylor. I think he did beat Josh Taylor, even though I can understand Josh Taylor getting the uh, the decision. I just think that Progre was the superior fighter, and I think he showed a lot in that fight. He showed his skill um, up close as well as at long range. Um, he showed heart. He showed a decent work rate. You know, maybe that could be criticised, and a lot of people feel like he faded a little bit and let Josh Taylor back in. I received that hundred percent, but I think. He showed a lot in that Josh Taylor fight. And for me, he hasn't quite looked the same since. Not like he's become completely washed up or anything like that. I just think that that was his peak. And he's been on a a slow but noticeable decline since then. And just maybe a bit long in the tooth, you know, on the other end of his, um, on the other side of his peak. And, you know, that was kind of like vintage Regis Progre in that fight, which was, what, end of October 2019. Devin Haney, on the other hand, a fighter who I was never really that, you know, convinced by. I was never sold on Devin Haney. I feel like he's come along quite well. And he's a fighter that a lot of people don't like for whatever reason. Uh, I've always admired Devin Haney's ambition. You know, he's a young guy and he's looking to take on the world in boxing, that kind of stuff, and become a success. Um, but people don't like him for whatever reason. I can't deny, I've got to give him credit. Like, Devin Haney, I feel, has come along leaps and bounds, and he's developed really well. Um, so much so that... Uh, actually, no, let's not get to that. <clears throat> anyway, we're talking about this fight here. I I think the most logical predictions are Regis Progre knocking Devin Haney out. Devin Haney uh, outpointing Regis Progre and getting a 12-round decision. Me personally, with a decent amount of confidence, I've got to go with uh, Devin Haney in this one. And as I say, that's me who, you know, years gone by, I used to really enjoy watching uh, Regis Progre fight. More so than I've enjoyed watching uh, Devin Haney fight. But I just the way I see this fight is stylistically, but also time-wise, I think it's... Um, I think it favours Devin Haney. Now, there are still some unknowns. Of course, he's stepping up a weight class. Uh, 
I don't necessarily see this fight as a step up though. I see it as, you know, would you call it a step up from Lomachenko? I guess it's depends on your opinion, but I wouldn't necessarily say that Regis Progre is a higher caliber opponent than Lomachenko, but he just he brings different um, different strengths. There are different things that could potentially threaten Devin Haney, um, and I know some people have said that the Lomachenko fight is really kind of the best preparation you could have for um, a Regis Progre fight, and I understand why because you know Haney. Uh, Progre and Lomachenko, they're not too dissimilar in dimensions. I think uh, Devin Haney's going to enjoy the same kind of physical advantages over both. Although uh, Regis Progre brings some serious firepower when compared to Lomachenko. And even then, Lomachenko was able to, you know, buzz uh, Devin Haney at times. But I feel like that's more so because of the, the presence of Lomachenko. He's that kind of almost like buzzsaw fighter when he gets into his uh, into his groove he's just in front of you and he won't leave you alone and he'll punch you so many times in succession it can overwhelm you and of course he's very accurate and I'm sure he punches hard enough to get your respect whereas Regis Progre is a very solid puncher you know he's a he's a big puncher you know although I feel like even his punching power has maybe declined a little bit over the years but some people might just argue he's fighting better level opposition fair play um, there's just that kind of leads me on to Regis Progre right now I just I watch him fight and I'm like you know there's something there's a certain amount of sharpness that miss, that's missing he just doesn't seem as dialed in as he once was 2017 2018 2019 I just don't think he's the same uh, the same I don't think he brings the same level of danger that he once did and now that doesn't mean that Devin Haney can take liberties and you know, try and and mock Regis Progre. Absolutely not. However, I do think that stylistically, Devin Haney will be able to... I think he won't necessarily need to outwork Regis Progre, but I think he might be able to frustrate him. He might be able to outmaneuver him because there are those defensive lapses um, in Regis Progre's style. We've seen him... He's always had this good head movement, this good active guard, but of late, as I say, I think the reflex has just gone a little bit, and maybe there's that there's that delay. You know, you certain you sometimes see older fighters, and they know what they want to do, but they just can't pull it off in time. You know, they're just a split second too too late. And I'm not trying to say that Regis Progress washed up or anything, but you know, he's been a pro for over ten years now, and you know, he's in his mid thirties, which is you know, relatively old for a fighter in this weight class. I think it's going to start catching up to him. And I don't think he's going to look bad, but I think we're just going to see the freshness, the youth, uh, the sharpness of Devin Haney um, really come into play here. And some people take issue with things like that because they think everything comes down to the technical ins and outs. And you guys should know, if you've watched any of my videos, that I appreciate the technique and the tactics. I love all that stuff. But there are some people who just, they can't factor in other variables, which is a silly, like, if we're trying to formulate a prediction, we need to consider as much as we can to make it educated. I had some donuts on my um, pre-fight video for Haney versus Lomachenko. And I basically said in that fight, Haney has a certain level of skill, but I don't think he's anywhere near as advanced as Lomachenko. However, Haney is at this moment in time, younger, bigger, fresher. And therefore, the timing of the fight, plus Haney's inherent advantages, physical advantages, will probably basically bolster his skill, kind of reduce that deficit and get him the win. And people will try to say, oh, you're just, you're just trying to avoid giving Haney credit uh, for winning with skill when he does. And I was like, you know, like, shut up. You're, you're misconstruing what I'm saying. Haney has certain physical advantages or had certain physical advantages over Lomachenko. Now, Haney's no slouch. He has skill. He's shown that and his skill is improving, believe me. But the timing of the fight, his youth uh, that he had over Lomachenko, the size advantage he had over Lomachenko and a potential strength and physicality advantage over uh, Lomachenko, I think that got him the fight. 
and I picked Haney to win because of those reasons. He won, and I think he did win legitimately. I know people have an issue with that. They thought Lomachenko was robbed. Nah, I don't think Lomachenko was robbed. It was a close fight, but I think Devin Haney's, those advantages got him through, and I suspect they're going to get him through um, against Progre. As I say, he probably won't be able to uh, impose himself you know, against, uh, against Progre, but I think he's going to be quicker, probably going to be slicker, probably going to be sharper, and he's just going to be able to frustrate Progre. And I think, I, I kind of envisage how the, fight's, how the fight goes, but I think it's just going to be Progre looking to close the distance, maybe not necessarily be able to find any holes to, to exploit, struggling to line up his shots, but then I think Haney's just going to be able to, you know, frustrate him He'd probably be able to punch and move or punch and smother. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how well Haney deals with that uh, bump up in weight class. But I suspect he'll probably get the job done. And I'm, I'm pretty confident that he probably scores a unanimous decision victory over Progre. Maybe two or three rounds, something like that. Um, and yeah, potentially becomes WBC light welterweight champion. Of course, this is just my opinion leave yours in the comment section below and maybe i'll get back to you emphasis on maybe but yeah i'm pretty confident that devin haney wins this one uh, scores a unanimous decision victory over regis progre we shall see though got a couple days left and uh, all shall be revealed on the 9th of december leave your thoughts down below thanks for listening i'll catch you in the next video